Hey creators, I'm Ryan and this is Waylight Creations and today I'm going to show you how to make this spindle sander attachment for your drill press. I started out with a 1 and 1 quarter inch dowel and cut it to the length that I wanted. You can use whatever size you want. Then use a caliper to measure the diameter of the dowel. Split the difference to get the radius and then mark the center. After you have it marked, you can hit it with an awl as well. I found a coarse thread screw that I wanted to use and used a drill bit that was slightly smaller to make the center hole. After it's completely drilled, insert the screw by hand and then finish tightening it with whatever tool you need. I had to use an Allen wrench. After I had it where I wanted it, I cut off the head with the grinder. You could also use a hacksaw or perhaps a bandsaw if you're set up for that. With some bargain sandpaper from Harbor Freight, I wrapped the spindle and then cut to size. For the final trimming, I made sure to overlap the two ends and cut down the center through both. That way the two ends would match up with each other. Once everything is set how you want it, you need to add some two-part epoxy directly to the back of the sandpaper, and you can mix it right on the back. Then spread it out evenly across the whole strip. The epoxy I used needed to be clamped for about 5 minutes, so I just held it till it was done. Now so far, for what I need, it's worked extremely well. It's definitely an easy shop accessory to make, and it was certainly cheaper than buying a standalone spindle sander. So I hope this video was useful to you in some way, or that it inspired you to go create something of your very own. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more do-it-yourself projects, like this one, every week. Also check us out on Twitter and Google+. Thanks for watching, be safe, and stay creative.